for Tuesday adventure into our Warhammer Fantasy RPG adventures, the Mediocre Mercs. For um, Tuesday adventure. We were missed last week because I had stupid adult things like working overtime to do. Um, I am GM Will Shock. I am the storyteller and host of this show, joined with my uh, colorful cast of crazy compatriots. Oh, who am I kidding? No chuckle, Fox. Um, yes. Uh, so I want you guys yeah. to introduce yourselves real quick. Uh, just, you know, in case somebody doesn't know or something. Hello, I'm Tasty Music. I'm playing the Elven Vagabond Yvandir. This is Spice Tacular playing Spencer. I am Jado, and I am playing Elven Brother to Yvandir, and f uh, yet to be introduced Elf, and I am playing Falandar. I'm Coyote. I am playing uh, Delween, um, pseudo brother to Yvander and, and Falandar, and uh, and also playing Coyote, pseudo the other pseudo brother. To <laughs> um, I am Blackhawk, and I am playing the dwarf Magnar. I am the yet unnamed elf, Angran, uh, but in real life, I guess I'm Doug. You guess you're Doug? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> and I'm also Doug on the internet, so it's like this weird <laughs> real life it was hybrid a pretty good, you should, situation. Was a pretty good guess. Hey, you're just you staying it. on brand at all times. <laughs> I'm Doug, part. but you could call me Doug. I kind of like <laughs> Doug on the internet .com as a great name for a website. I'm actually going to see if Josh on the internet .com is available right now. All right, so <laughs> where we last left our adventurers, uh, there was chaos afoot. Uh, quite literally, as the whole town fell under some sort of ritual or spell, began convulsing, and some of them spewed out demons, which began tearing the guards and citizens limb from limb, uh, if not for some occasional interference by our intrepid adventurers. Um, fighting their way to reunite as they were on different sides of the town, they have uh, teamed up with one of the bodyguards of the youngest of the Hardenbach family. Not James Harden. <laughs> Damn it. James um, Harden agree band. to disagree. I'm, I'm, no, I'm just telling you how it is. Uh, it's a collective imagination. I'll collect your imagination. Um, and they caught up with the instigator of the whole thing the Chamberlain Hines, uh, who had apparently and found some sort of giant chaos pie, which Dolwyn smashed, got into his face and eyes, and grew a second head. Maybe I'll make better choices with this head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, so far you've only made good choices in this, mine. They, they say two heads are better than one, but we're finding out that that, that saying has some stipulations. This is my, this is my planning head. All right, so uh, that's basically right where we uh, left off there. If you guys in the hallway, uh, Dolwyn just grew ahead and Hines appeared in the hallway looking at you all and saying and shouting maniacal <laughs> monologues. Um, I'm pretty sure I was about to shoot him. I'm I do sure he believe. Threw me some compliments. Uh, yeah, yeah, he did. He did for you some compliments. So I guess we're going to just really start this by rolling initiative. Ah, my favorite role. I'm great at this one. I want to know, I want you to know during the intro. Oh, no! My oh, one boy. goal for today. I'm fat. Which I, I now own that domain name. Josh on the internet. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Hey, whatever makes you happy. Um, I want to know what it is so I can make sure it doesn't happen. No, wait. Mm -hmm. You should have bought the domain name already. Uh, yeah, late. but I'm, Sucker. I'm lazy and cheap. Mm hmm. <laughs> And old. And yeah, I but that, that, that combination. That doesn't have anything to do with it. That's just a, a side effect, you know? Kinda. I mean, it kinda has something to do with it. Alright, so we got a 60, a 59, a 58, a 47, a 41, and a 33. Okay. 
Well, it looks like actually, uh, Yvandir, Elvin for ya boy, uh, is going to be starting off this combat as you're all standing around in a mutual fuck moment of fuck that guy and what the hell just grew out of my friend's side. I've seen weirder things happen. I'm shooting an arrow at. You've seen weirder things happen than someone grow a second head out of their right rib cage? He turned I... invisible in front of me. Man. I, I hate to be a party pooper, but didn't everybody like fail their saves on looking at me and have now at a disadvantage? Uh, they, they found it unsettling. But there's no penalty for that? There is. It's a negative 10. <clears throat> uh, so I'm going to take my bow out. But it's negative 10 directed at you. So it only yeah. affects them if they're attacking you. Oh! That's I'm not gonna... a, the question <laughs> yet. <laughs> fire yeah, exactly. yeah. <clears throat> at that guy. Oh, man. Sure. Um, where... Watch, what? this is just going to be a crazy Ulrich Fury right off the bat, and the whole fight's going to be so. over one shot. Nope. Ah, yeah, well, there goes that. Outcome. All right. Um, and Grim, uh, you were, I, I do believe that you were angry and also wanting to shoot somebody in the face. Is, is this correct? That was the game plan. I am going to load and fire my bow at the creepy fucker. Okay. Which one? Yeah, be Good little, question. Be a little more specific. There's a lot of creepy fuckers out Please. here. The one down the hallway at the moment. Wait, then, okay. We're doing great. Yeah. Uh, thrown off by all this going on here, the stench and everything in the air and all the blood. Oh, you, um, you, you guys both fire and just kind of like bounce off of the walls. We're better at this, brother. Better in this. Uh, Dolwyn, um, Dolwyn of the two heads. Yeah. Uh, you, you're, you're feeling a little crazy. You just gained yourself a nice little insanity point from growing a second head. I'm sure you're feeling great. Yep. Uh, what are you wanting to do? I, uh, you can use, like, a bit of speech as, like, free action. Yeah, yeah, as long as it's not, like, insanely long. I call out to Heinz. Heinz, unless you know a way of to to reverse this, I don't. I can't guarantee we'll spare you. <laughs> Those were warning shots. Those were warning. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, what he said. Oh my god. Uh, I'll wait a half second for a reply, and then. Uh, um. He, he does not seem to reply. Hmm. Magic dirt. With channeling. Where is that? Okay. Just double checking. I couldn't remember the threshold on insanity points before you had to start rolling for insanity. The answer is six. I, I, I looked it up. It's <laughs> definitely six. six. <laughs> All right, yeah, you six. That's an, that's an important number for me. I'll be watching. You that. begin uh, channeling the winds of magic, um, calling to, you know, and you successfully pull the Aether to you. What are, what? Or what are you casting with your other... Um, magic Dirt, and just uh, okay. putting in the values here. <clears throat> you are... Oh, you have such bad luck with this. <laughs> Jesus. What does he roll? He, he roll a so 1d10. He, yeah, he rolls out against his magic characteristic. Um, <laughs> mages are in Warhammer uh, have a very difficult start, but if they make it past that start, they're pretty okay. Uh, <laughs> it's just making it past the beginning is so rough. Um, but that wasn't a one, so... Yeah, yeah, no, no, no more. So, um... Another warning shot. Another... Consider yourself <laughs> warned. So many <laughs> warning shots. <laughs> um, Heinz uh, watches the, these arrows combine and your magic fail to come to fruition and he just kind of looks up and grins and he goes do you think I am alone come chef um, as you hear a Bleh! and this like large bulbous like 
uh, really sallowed skinned creature steps out into the hallway behind him. Uh, it looks like it is fed to the point that it is ready to burst at any seam. Uh, grotesque, disgusting drool running down its mouth and vomit, and it is covered in blood and all sorts of other intestines and organs as it just looks at you with this crazed hunger in its eyes. Yuck. Um, Damn, I was hoping it was alone. Uh, <laughs> and then where's the one I want? Oh, yeah. He uh, makes a gesture and there's a bit of a glow of magic as like crawling out from his skin comes this long writhing tongue uh, that's like the form of like a whip that just crawls out of the palm of his hand until he clutches it in, it, clutches it in one hand. Uh, he looks over and immediately s sends it flying directly at... Oh... <laughs> so wait, is it still in his mouth and his hand? No, no, or no. Is it, it's a tongue that's coming out of his arm. Yeah, it grew out okay. of the palm of his hand. There's a mouth in his palm? Long, no, no. It crawled out of his flesh. A long writhing <laughs> tongue. Um, and it shoots out and clamps onto the bodyguard. Um, God damn it, scorpion. <sighs> okay, um... And, and it seems to like squirm through his armor, and then you hear a bit of a, and he's like, oh, uh, as it then shoots back right into his hand. Yep. Uh, he kind of like looks with a, a a glee and then steps behind his big bulbous uh, creature, <clears throat> and. It's going to be Valandar. How long is this hallway that we're... Like, how far away is everything? Uh, you guys are actually r rather close to each other. Uh, he's all of, like, five yards away from you. Okay. And this system... Is this system yards or feet? It goes by yards. It goes by yards. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's... So that means we're, like, all in melee with each other? Uh, no. Melee would be, like, two yards. But you guys are all clumped up, like, right next to each other. It's not a very wide hallway. It's, like, the, uh, the hallway itself is... I guess, all right, I'll just say what I'm trying to do. I basically want to get in a position where I am in front of everyone who's casting, and then I want to delay, take the delay action, and basically just try to hold the line. Okay. Uh, with my shield up, ready to to guard. That way, th th we don't take the melee combat penalty for me running in there and start smashing. Things, oh yeah, so. that's you can. I'm gonna set up a combat line as best I can. You can totally step in front of everyone, get the shield up, and delay. Yeah, that's Absolutely. my plan. So. Okay. Um. Uh, you're. <laughs> oh boy, he's not doing too great. Your your alibi guard just like kind of cough, spit some blood out of his mouth. Um, and it's just, fuck all of this. And he comes and sets up, sees what you're doing, Valdar, and stands next to you, also kind of preparing, uh, to, like, with his axe, to be the line waiting for this huge bulbous thing to charge. Um, Spencer, the greatest swordsman in the party. Well, is this hallway wide enough for three people? It is... At, that is the most you could do is three abreast. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will hold the line. Awesome. Ready my action. Okay. Um, Magnar. Uh, Magnar gets out his crossbow and just pings off a shot ASAP. Are you, uh, are you trying to shoot at the chef or at Hein? At the chef, yeah. Okay. Got horrified of that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, has anyone seen? Yeah! Oh yes! shit! Hit in the head. Oh, oh baby. All right, click that damage. Uh, uh Ulrich. Uh, so how do I do it with? Oh, 
Just so there should be a button right on there. Like yeah, it's just a critical strike and or damage. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, you shoot, you shoot uh, a crossbow bolt right into this thing's head. It, it it looks like it struggles to get far into the skin, but it's still stuck there in kind of the fleshless fold of its head, like the wrinkly skin. Um, have mm -hmm. any, has anyone else played me and Jado watched Legion? Uh, the demon moving one. No, the the the. X-Men TV show. The X-Men TV show. Because he looks a lot like that creature. <laughs> gotcha. Also, was I supposed to hit the critical roll button? No, it's only a critical okay. hit when its wounds are reduced to a certain okay. point. So okay. rolling a 1 just means you get to hit the head, doesn't mean anything else? Uh, yeah, I mean, it determines because things can have different armor levels at different like, yeah. locations. Mm -hmm. And he's not wearing a helmet, so he cool. catches it and it's like stuck right in like... On nine. Yeah. bolts of his head like oh um, <laughs> and he begins lumbering forward at you guys uh Ugh. like this big shaking thing as he gets up real close just uh, about to enter the melee range he throws his head mm. back and just projectile vomits onto all three of you I need everybody to make um, a... Uh, actually, can I take jump in as my half action before he projectile vomits and try sure. to maneuver him backwards? I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Uh, so the character uses superior footwork and aggression to force his opponent to move two yards in a direction nominated by the player desired. The character can advance two yards as well. Mm -hmm. A post weapon skill test. is successful, the character's opponent's... So I basically just want to knock him back to try to limit the damage of seeing him about to grossify us. Okay, yeah, totally. Um, so, weapon skill test. Course I'm stat. Leaving you. Hui! Let's go! Good old boy. Fate point. Fate point time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah. Fate whispers in your ear. Still sucks. <laughs> oh. It whispers better luck next time. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is it a degrees of failure check or is it, it straight? I don't know how it, post tests. It, it's works. going to be compared based on relative successes. Okay. So you had, um, oh, that was two close. and a half. Two, two yeah. degrees of failure, almost three degrees of failure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> to which he also had two degrees of failure. So I'm going to say that we roll it again in the case of All a right. tie. Reroll in case of a tie. All right. Oh! Ooh. Okay, oh, your yeah. four oh, degrees yeah. of success trumps his two degrees of success. Um, so nice. yeah, you, you get to maneuver him back. Um, yeah, I just want to knock him two yards backwards, and I don't think that's enough to knock him into the other dude. But... No, but it's enough to basically uh, interrupt him attempting to vomit on you all, and this whole nice. this big thing of vomit just spews, and he doesn't just vomit out bile and... Uh, everything, but there's also like little chunks of people, like, like you recognize a hand, um, a tricycle. <laughs> uh, it just comes out of this this thing's mouth. Is it is it a tricycle or like a big wheel? Um, <laughs> you know what those? Just, and it's, it's literally a big wheel. It's like a wagon wheel, <laughs> just straight out of his Cause, throat. Cause a big wheel is a lot sadder <laughs> than a normal tricycle for some reason. <laughs> Uh, you know, it's too covered in vitriol right now for you to be 100% certain. But after the f fight, you can attempt to identify <laughs> we it. We can determine how sad this vomit is. Um, yeah, so he's like, oh! And just... And, and that's going to be his turn. Um, Alright, so... that was my only fate point, so let's not, uh, not fuck up anymore. Alright, um, so at that point, the... Uh, he was before, so I so Bart's gonna take his delayed uh, action to hack at the thing with his axe. Okay. And can I? Oh yeah, and he like buries the axe into it, and. Man, and for a second there, as he's like closed through into it, he kind of like starts to pull it back. Like, and it seems to be caught in the fatty folds of this creature, and he manages to pull it out. Oh. Don't like that. Um, 
Spencer, are you wanting to use your 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 delayed action? Yeah, I will go ahead and all out attack. Ooh, get him. Nice. All right. Uh, you got his head too. <laughs> yeah, chop good that, that shit. Go ahead, give me damage. Oh. Whoa! Oh. Yeah, grody damage. Coming out uh, strong here. Also a nine on the die. I mm -hmm. like it. All right, now um, I need you to make a uh, a strength roll, uh, pulling your weapon away. All right. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Is <laughs> everyone's gonna have to oh, depot yeah. out of him? It makes me feel even better about my my original decision to just. Just hold the line and not charge. It's okay. It's an easy roll, so you have a ten percent bonus. I just didn't tell you about. So you're in. So like, it, it's so like your sword, your 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 sword almost got stuck in the, the fatty folds on its head, which is just a disturbing thing to think about. Yuck! I'm picturing this shit is just fucking Pizza the Hut, but with legs. <laughs> uh, I was thinking stitches from like a like an abomination from any of the Blizzard games. Yeah. I was thinking fat bastard. <laughs> I was thinking like one of the um one of the leeches turns from out Vermintide. You're all right. <laughs> all of them fucking all of yeah, them. Yeah, he is Just literally the them. most disgusting thing you can imagine. Um all right, you van And Coulter? I'm gonna low to take a shot. <laughs> I just did, so it's your turn now. <laughs> I still don't hate her as much as Anne Rand. Oh. Oh. All right. I do. I... Shoot the fucker. Oh, fuck yeah! Holy, Holy shit! What? Holy fuck! What, what <laughs> the ever living? <laughs> so you have to roll a second time to confirm oh, that. Damn. Uh, it automatically. Right? It should automatically. Do I do another D10 oh, because I rolled two D? Normally, I believe it does. But It just rolled one. Do I roll another one? Do I roll damage again? Uh, that's you. Sh wow, yeah, it should as long as you've got your bow put into your character sheet correctly, because uh, it can keep exploding. Well, yeah, oh, after the second God. one, you don't roll confirmation; you just keep rolling. <laughs> that's Sorry. Fine. What the <laughs> fuck? That's thirty <laughs> that's damage. Fine. That fuck is that guy. Thirty damage. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> Wow. Uh, so, okay, give me do some quick math here. 30 damage, so... <laughs> 30 wounds. Holy shit! Alright, uh, I'm gonna need you to do a critical with a uh, 11 point uh, value to the arm. Uh, left arm, yeah. Yeah. Value... I can only do 10 as the max. Uh, then 10 it is. <laughs> Oh, killed him, whatever. So, Spectacular. <laughs> to borrow from a great, great DM uh, on a much more popular web series, uh, Tasty, how would you like to do this with um, your so arrow I... shot to his left arm? Uh, what I'd like to do is, uh, I think the, the, the sword swipe from um, Spencer caused him to turn right, so his arms, so his left arm's kind of in the way, and the arrow catches his arm and pulls the arm off and tears the arm away and tears the skin away from the body so his guts just spill out on the floor because fit to bursting. <laughs> uh, yeah, Yvandir sees the opening, pulls back with the bow, shoots it in the arm, which just yanks it and tears the already taut and bulbous skin. Doing so, rips it open and the like acidic insides of vile, of vile bile and other vitriol just starts spilling it out and just it melts itself right there like in this pile of steaming human corpse. Right before you all. Yeah. Founder turns his head back to Evander and just says, That was gross. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't mean second head throws up in its mouth a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is this the sensible head? Is this the new one? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that one that this one has never seen anything more vile than that. Because he's never seen anything. <laughs> yeah, he's Happy like, birthday, new head. <laughs> Am I shocked? Did that guy have 26 wounds left? Like, in damage? He had a lot of wounds. And you also don't know what his toughness was. 
Fucking yikes, that was gross. Uh, God damn. I like this. Uh, yeah, no, that was our first player. You just Ashitaka the dude. Yeah, you did Ashitaka <laughs> yeah. the dude. Um, wow, all right, F uh, Fal uh, wow, Angram, uh, your, your brother just literally tore that thing a new one in a place that you Light, know Lit that possible. motherfucker up. Uh, Heinz behind him kind of went, ha ah! <laughs> and I face dropped. He just realized how fucked he is. Alright, I mean, if a dwarf can hit someone. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Yeah, you shoot aiming the bow right for uh, the ch right for the chest of Heinz. Uh, nice! An arrow digs into a rib. Uh, all but uncomfortably so. All right, uh, Dolween. All right, I'm gonna try this again. Same spell. <laughs> Round two. Oh! oh! The perfect channeling mm. success. Very efficiently cast. Uh, it looks sick. Here he goes. Here goes speed race. Yes, the success hey, of magic hey, dart. Here he goes again. All right, uh, <laughs> give me that dart damage. Which... Uh, we put that under weapons, didn't we? Damage three. Mm -hmm. Is that even me? That's not possible because. Okay, yeah, there's gotta be a plus. Three. Well, it's one d ten plus, three, right? Yeah, so, so that's that would be five, five damage total. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just forgot to enter that in. Five. Okay. Yeah. As the uh, what do your your magic dart look like? Oh no. <clears throat> okay. Well, um. Yeah. <laughs> a magic it's dart. A magic an invisible magic dart of unknown description flies through the air and yeah. just hits. Uh, we all just uh, feel like the wind passed our face. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, like that. Maybe oh. even the wind. The face is. Wings. Some people's case. Ooh. Oh, got him. I'm sorry, that was really, uh, one face normative of me. <laughs> what the fuck? Mon mono head normative. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, he kind of, like, glares at you all, and he begins channeling the winds of magic about him. Then he fails his spellcasting test and goes insane. <laughs> I mean, Insaner. it's possible. All things are possible. All right. But no, um, as... Oh, Jesus. That's a lot right, of numbers. As this, as this, as he, like, lets hey, out... guys, he's got lots of power. He lets out this, like, noise from him. I need everyone to make a challenging, or as or it's minus 10% willpower test. Oh, boy. Will power. That target number didn't seem right. Oh, okay, I guess it is. Oh god. Really enjoying this high willpower. Alright, so that's Same. uh Alright, so those of you who <gasps> What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you shooting me? <laughs> Why? Uh so <laughs> Vandier and Falandar, um you are this 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 beat uh, just kind of like takes over you, and you find yourself just drawn and will do nothing but stand and dance lutely to the ethereal sounds of Solnesh's music. Um, you can take no actions or are considered helpless. Uh, yeah, uh, for while the spell is going. Uh, there's some if you are, are attacked, the spell will end immediately, and there's some additional side effects for the, how long you continue dancing. <laughs> um, do we get like repetitive saves or no? No, actually, three and three spells. There is no. May God have mercy saves. on your soul. All right, guys, attack us. <laughs> right? <laughs> Him? No, they, they can, they, anyone attack? So, Yvandir and Valdar, you can't talk or anything else. All you can do is. 
However you feel uh, lewdly dancing in place to this... Um, Oh god, what would Slanesh music sound like? Haunting, eerie, twisted, and... Hey, Basically, ladies, every drop it down. Just wanna just want to see you touch the ground. <laughs> Don't be shy, go, go, bonanza. Uh, yeah, precisely. Um, Alright, you know when you floss between your legs with the towel? That with the bow. <laughs> uh, does the acidic nature of the muck on the ground seem to have dissipated? Um, you're not paying attention to that. All right, well, I'm gonna give my. I, I feel like I don't want to screw over everybody. If that's the, uh, I'm gonna give myself. Let's see. Intelligence sounds good. <clears throat> Uh, Hold on. I'm waiting for my roll to tell you how I'm dancing. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> and it seems... uh, oh, target test result 69. Perfect. Yeah, I take <laughs> my shield and I kind of scoop up some of the muck and I kind of like make it rain. Oh! Uh, it's underneath it. Oh, God. I'm not trying to hurt anybody else or anything. I just thought, oh, that sounds like pretty uh, lewd action. Yeah, yeah, you're trying to like give yourself a wet t shirt with. All I'm doing like the uh, flash dance kind of. Oh god, that's so disturbing. Um, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Celebrating my brother's achievements. Oh, you know, I, uh... my second head actually throws up this time. <laughs> ah shit! All right. Um, so yeah, as the 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 bodyguard is just kind of standing, puts his axe stance in place, and it's just all like. Just the all that's all he's doing is just like nuts. crazy Phil's warm up routine. Yes, crazy Phil's warm up routine. He's just kind of not his head in place, rubbing his nipples, uh, da dancing in the beat there. Um, all right, so that's Jado's turn. That's Bodyguard's turn. Uh, Spencer, <clears throat> you have I'm resisted. The you said he's about five yards away. Yeah, uh, at this point, he's like seven yards away. Whatever, that's that's far enough away that I can charge. Okay, um, I'm going to need you to make a uh, a agility check on the ch while charging over this giant slippery pile of vomit. Done. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> um, you take off, and this is the worst slip and slide of your life. Uh. As you go the distance... I don't know if you understand the slip and slides I've been on. <laughs> you you slide and go the distance, but you're going to be prone when you land there. So it's going to completely... It, it, being prone uh, gives you a negative 20% to your attack, which will negate part of that plus 10% from the charge bonus. So you're going to be at negative 10% to making this attack from the ground. Oh, that just did it too. Ooh, dickhole. <laughs> um, Magnar. Um, Magnar in preps another, another um, bolt and fires it into the wizard man. Yeah. Dang, misses. <clears throat> that makes more sense. So <laughs> shoots off a bolt and whiffs it. Uh, yeah, the, you're just too taken aback by all of the guts and vomit everywhere over everyone. Face. Oh, <laughs> you, you failed the face palm. I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> all right. Uh, so we're gonna be back up to Yvandir. <laughs> <laughs> and Do I get any willpower check or just no. it just skips? <laughs> uh, Aunt Graham, your your brothers are dancing lewdly and doing nothing else. Yeah, I have a solution for this. What's your solution? Uh, well, I'm gonna keep shooting arrows at the guy who caused this shit. Oh, okay, that's fair. Uh, is Spencer considered in combat if he's on the floor? I'm not going to give you that penalty because he's prone. Yes. Good job, Spice. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> I got you. Tactical fall down. 
tactical <laughs> fall down. I am attacking. Yeah. Solid attack from the ground, man. That works for me. All right, give that me. less so. Less thrilled about that one. I haven't seen the. Didn't dice even one. load. Oh, there it oh, is. Boy. Yeah, it oh, just wait. took a second. Uh, yeah, no, so you, a uh, your arrow goes and strikes him. And his uh, right arm just kind of grazing across there, drawing blood on 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 his right. nice robe. Still counts. Still counts. Still counts. Dolwyn. All right. <clears throat> Dolwyn's a little concerned about his two of his uh, his three protectors. Um, I keep, no, two of two. Two of two. <laughs> and Angram is not your protector. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Um, but I think he'd use magic sense to see, trying to understand what's wrong with them. Is that uh, fair? Yeah, I, I will say go ahead and give me a magic sense roll. They're just really oh. horny for dancing. Um, you're, you're not able to perceive what the magic is, um, but it, nor are you familiar enough with chaos magic <clears throat> to tell what the hell's going on. I believe it was a spell. Mm, <laughs> that's probably a safe bet. But just... I'll, I'll say that was a half action. You still have half action remaining. All right, I'll toss another dirt. Hey. Yay. Two three. Nice. Two in a row. Um, yeah, give me the damage roll as you shoot out the dart directly at him. Oh, nice. nice. Oh, shit. Wow. These nines today. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, you just. Wind runs right through him. Uh, yeah, so he's like, he's got blood coming from various places and he's looking around at uh, all of you. And. <sighs> it's time for the Ganon transformation. The, Ga the Ganon transformation? That's what I'm uh... calling. I don't want to ruin your tension again. I like doing that. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> No, no, he, uh... <clears throat> just takes that tongue whip thing in his hand and drives it into his own face as it, like, expands and starts devouring him. And it's like a snake eating itself. <clears throat> it just completely pulls him into it, this crunching of bones, and then sucks up, and there's just a splat of blood and gore everywhere as uh, there is like just nothing to be seen. Are we still dancing? Yes. Yay! I start humming the Final Fantasy uh, Combat Victory music. Na, 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 na. <laughs> but he's still Yay! culturally dancing. Yeah, I'm still dancing. <laughs> we clearly killed the guy, so... But yeah, no, the, the uh, Falandar, Yvandir, and the bodyguard are still dancing. Uh, what do we do now? Uh, <laughs> um, I will get myself up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you boys want to be done with that? Soon. <laughs> so to raise the roof, Chester. Yeah, oh this God, is. No, I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> say it. If this we is dance worse through. than the chef. I yeah. scoop up another bit of muck and toss it in the air oh, across God. everybody. Wizard, can you put an end to this? Um. <clears throat> yeah, sure. I'm gonna start dancing too. <laughs> <laughs> I, think we, I think if we, I think if we all do it. It'll 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 go what? faster. Are you trying to make them feel comfortable with themselves? I don't. <laughs> what? I start Just grinding trying. on uh, my brother Doug. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Uh, he's gonna get slapped in the face. I mean, he's helpless. So Ruskin that's plus thirty percent. All to, right. To slap. Uh, all right. Hold on. I have to make this a thing. Yee! <laughs> God is dead. God is dead. Oh, Alright. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a little. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, you, you hit my head too in that roll. You strike <laughs> him uh, across the, the the face. Um, give me a D10 roll. <laughs> Uh, I think I'll just roll damage, and then that's yeah. oh, yeah. oh, wow. roll you plus are... three. Yeah. It's a one. It's a one. Yeah. It's a one. <laughs> well, unarmed is a strength bonus minus four, so okay, that's literally one. Oh. So yeah, you tech him across the face, um, and Evander, you are snapped out of it. Oh, uh, sick. But oh. I need you to make a hard willpower test. That's minus twenty okay. percent. Okay. Ya yeah, boy. Ya yeah, boy! Oh. <laughs> you get the tune out of your head. Okay, that's how we break it. I walk up to my brother and I slap him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so get, that's a plus 30% because he's helpless. Um. I just want to see if he accidentally dance dodges. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, easy. <laughs> just smack Falmar across the face. Uh, snapping you out of it. Uh, Faldar, you need to make a, uh, a hard negative 20 willpower check. Sure. I was posting the chart for everyone to see in case. Oh, uh, no, no. There you guys go. If you need multipliers later, willpower minus 20, mm -hmm. you say? How about minus 2? I'll meet you in the middle. Uh, now that's going to be minus 20. Do you have 20 willpower? Yes. Oh. I have 35 of it. I failed. I still don't know why he wants to... No, I'm not going to do 1d10 divided by 5 because that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically 1d2, I think, is what they're attempting to go for. Yeah, but if you don't have real dice, then it's yeah. you don't have 1d2, so. And it's easier to divide 10, yeah, I guess, just... by 5 than... <clears throat> uh, I'm just... Yeah, it has you round up anyway, so it's going to be a 1 or a 2. Yeah. So, anyways, you gain 1 insanity point. Um, Jesus as Christ. This, uh, the unearthly tune is stuck in your head. Forever? At least for now. Jesus I Christ. walk over to the bodyguard just, and slap just... him as well. All right, give me that roll. It, it it's not gonna. Go no, 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 brother. Hold on, it's only fair, and I slap. <laughs> <laughs> the, ch the chain of slapping. <laughs> yeah, no, he like bobs his head like whoosh, right out of the way as your foot goes flying past him. But you catch him with the backhand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It was all a big wind up. Um. <clears throat> oh dear. Okay. <clears throat> uh. He also gains an insanity point. Is he kind of like, oh, fuck? Uh, and, and looks around. Delwyn's still dancing, but he just knows. He's like, what, are we not doing this anymore? <laughs> okay, oh, slap him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, we're finding the Lord, remember? He was in hiding. I knew the dancing would work. Everybody's cured. That's Wait good. a minute. Is there still remains of the chef? Yeah. Uh, does he still have a, is his face on the ground? Uh, yeah, go ahead and give me a perception roll using your special eyes. Oh, no. Uh, Oh, I'm gonna no. say this is easy. Give yourself an additional plus twenty. Oh no, this is. Uh, yeah, you kind of get through like you bend down and wipe some of the stuff off of the face, and there before you is the face of Lord Johann von Hardenbeck. Found the Lord. Looks like our job's done. Uh, let's da, 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 leave. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should go get the witch hunter right away. Yeah, yeah. I agree as well. Uh, Dolene, uh, you might no. want to be. I assume we might want to hide Dolene. Out of sight. <laughs> do we have I'm, to tell anyone, or could we just leave? Well, we want to collect our payment for. I look right at the body. Lord. I look right at the bodyguard because he's the only other person here. Fuck. Uh, 
about Gottfried. His eldest. I'm know, sure he's we, fine. We've got to go find him. Mm-hmm. He's like I take still clutching his like his side. I, I wanna put the face or like I wanna cut the face off with the or like cut the head off with a sword, put it in a bag and then uh, brother, can you make sure that if you take a look at his wound and see that it's <coughs> your standard everyday wound and not like he's gonna turn into that giant monster thing and try to attack us wound? I'll do what I can. Um Dolwing, could you help me out with this? Well versed. Not well versed in magic. For sure, of course. Um, there's a magic sense roll? Uh, you can go ahead and attempt a magic sense roll. And I'm just gonna try. If there's any sort of magical malady. Uh, no. Well, basically, what you could tell is that the thing that struck him did only normal mortal wounds. It's just the magic nature of it was able to bypass all of his armor and toughness. Um, no damage reduction applied to the hit. That's... Nope. <clears throat> Yeah, uh, huh, yeah, no, you, like, you know, he kind of pulls up the armor a little, and, like, his shirt, and you can literally see his ribs. Oh, that's beyond me. Um, we should find the physician. Hines was, wanna, the, I, Hines was the physician. <laughs> no, the physician, found, the physician in town. Him. There was a doctor in town. Do you want to come with us? did not like that woman. Uh, do you want to come with us to the witch, do the witch hunter? He probably has <laughs> some experience dealing with things like this can i find a tablecloth either like in the kitchen or the dining area where i can like wear around myself <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I need something to go he uh kind of turns and just his axe uh and he just looks over at dolwain and he's just kind of staring at him like and you can kind of see wheels turning in his head <laughs> the second head's like hey what's up you're <laughs> Your friend's not clean. Uh, we just met. Judge. It's not... He didn't know about the invitation, uh, didn't have time uh, to take a bath before it he came. Looks well, like, sorry about uh, that. At this point, you may also not be clean, sir. <laughs> I yes, just brother. heard he's fucking tainted. You saw him take down the, the man responsible for this, though. He helped. That's how these things start. The taint spreads. Before you know it, he'll be chewing on your flesh in your sleep. I saw plenty of this in the war. Uh, he seems too incompetent for that, to be fair. <laughs> okay. This is true. I've had been to this conversation. Don't we? Let's go. And I try to drag him outside. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, fuck. Oh. Um... I can help get you to the witch hunter if you'd like. I'd appreciate you not telling him about the other elf, but ourselves will do. Uh, give me, give me a charm roll. <laughs> can I be helping him as well, being like, "Fuck that dude up. Trust us." I'll give you a ten percent bonus. Hey, I need it. I need it. Excellent. Yeah, no. Nailed it. Fucking crush that charm roll. Just, just fucking get there. Oh. All right. Uh, I kind of like. Soldier carry him, like I get under one arm, and I assume if you band here, maybe gets on the other, and we start heading towards the inn. Okay. Um. As as you guys get down to the the inn, uh, you do see various other parts of the town where there has been slaughter. Um, you're not seeing any demons still running about at this moment, but you do see lots of dead bodies and still lots of passed out, not moving catatonic villagers. Right, right. I keep hustling towards the end. <clears throat> this uh, guy has a, a hole in his head. You, uh, you guys make it to the inn. <clears throat> um, and, uh, the door seems barricaded. And there is a few dead bodies outside of it. Witch hunter! Uh, a, a window cracks open and a freaking blunderbuss uh, barrel sticks out of it, pointing in your direction. <clears throat> you remember Ooh. how we agreed to give you any information we found about <laughs> chaos dealings and whatnot? <clears throat> mm. Yeah, ah, oh, yes! I remember you! 
I think we found the people you're looking for, and we also killed them. But this man is really wounded and could use help if you could provide any. He fought bravely against the chaos. So, quick question. Where is Angram and Dolwyn? I don't know. Good question. Are you they did not come... out of sight? Yeah, at least, like, is like there a... a block away. Yeah. Yeah, I think they That's left good. kind of separate to us in the whole process, so definitely was a split up of situation. The window opens a little more, and you see uh, the, the witch hunter with a freaking you know, blunderbuss point out the window and looking you all up and down. Mm. I can tell you more information. If mm. You wouldn't mind letting us inside in case any of those weird demon people come back. I also have a bit of evidence of what happened. So I pat the, the bag outside. Show me. Show me. Uh, I open it up, and I, I, you know, take a, I make sure I have a glove on my hand, and I pull out the head of chef. That the would be the lines. He, he transformed Lord Harding. He, he makes the symbol of the hammer. Uh, <clears throat> Leopold, get the door. Uh, you hear some stuff being moved around, and uh, the door's opened, and you see that the, the guy that had come and found you before, uh, Kind of swaggerish dude in leather armor with swords strapped to him. He's got a, a a sword out, kind of pointed at you. All right, come on in. Uh, all right, we I, I put the bag, I put the thing back in the bag. Uh, when you go in, you see that uh, there's the innkeeper's catatonic. Uh, and then everybody else in here besides the witch hunter, his uh, swaggerific assistant, and two other members of his revenue are, they're all dead. You see, like, there's blood all over the place. Their fighting had taken place in here. Even Roscoe and Bosco? You don't know where don't Roscoe know. and Bosco is. No. Uh -huh. Uh, I'm assuming you fought something that had hands that kind of look like this. I make, like, hook hands. Foul demons of chaos. Yes, I we fought one of those out by the dock and then rushed to the palace um, to help out the lord. Finding, before finding, I just pat the bag on my side. And then, well, as he said, we ran into the physician who tried to induct us into his chaos cult. Uh, tried to, you know... And then we dispatched him because fuck that shit, you know? <laughs> <laughs> fuck that shit, you know. Um, Sir. Know what I mean, my guy? <laughs> my dude? Hmm, is the way clear now? Uh, well, we got back here with no issue, so I hope so. I can't say that I we hurried a bit, so I didn't do a throw. Then leave me um, on. I must investigate and cleanse the area of infestation. Uh, are any of your men here trained physicians that might be able to help this man here? Uh, yes, I am. Uh, a, a figure steps up who's wearing like a, a plague doctor mask. Um, <laughs> the face. I, I can see. I can see to his wounds. If you would like to okay, look we'll... here. Uh, it's up to him. But yes, I'll take you, sir, witch hunter, to. The palace. As will I. Away. You make. He he tur and like before he gets off there, he turns like uh, it's like make sure the young lord's safe. We will. And he like goes and slumps on the table as the it's just begins roofing the armor off and. Uh... Uh, and then we'll take him back basically directly to the scene of what happened. And I'm just going to hope that Angram and Dolwyn are smart enough to not be in the way. Yeah, so now I, I need to know where Dolwyn and Angram have gone off. Angram would probably go to the boat. Okay. If Dolwyn is not uh, against that idea. Okay. Um, yeah, I'd go wherever you led me, basically. Yeah, we're going to the boat. <clears throat> um, Whatever you say, sir. So you go to the dock in the boat, and... As you uh, arrive there, you find there are injured and dead people all about and some catatonic. 
And on your way across there, I need you guys to both make me perception rolls with your special eyes. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> it's not until you get up there that you actually see uh, the boat is uh, it is a little bit kind of tipped into the water from like weight as you come and find the dead bodies of Bosco and Roscoe in the boat along with uh, one of the remains of one of those demons and a few other corpses nearby and have all just piled onto like one side of the boat that slightly tipped it into the water. 20 gold down. Mm. Disappointing. Bless their stupid souls. Okay, well... Sorry, I, I, I had, a, I had a roll for their average chance of survival and I critically <laughs> failed it. <laughs> Was that that 96 right there? Yes. Yeah. I, I, I 96 their survival. So... It's almost a 69, though. They almost did it. Those I, if it was 69, you'd have found them in an entirely different position. Um, hey so, But yeah, no, you guys get back to the boat. Um, meanwhile, you lead the witch hunter and his retinue uh, up to there. And he overlooks the scene and shakes his head. Leopold, get all of the oil. We must burn the whole place. Uh, uh, do you mind if we go look for survivors? We're looking for while you prepare. Be qu um, be quick about it. I I will tarry in here no longer. I must see this place cleansed in the name of Sigmar. Split up, uh, Evander. Mm -hmm. Sigmar. Yep, yep. I will also be searching. Oh, Spencer. Yeah. So we're just gonna kind of split up and go look for survivors, I guess. Okay. Um, I go to the room where we found the bodyguard. Okay. Um, so then everyone give me search rolls. I'm trained in that shit. Uh, yep, I am also trained in that shit. Okay. Yeah, boy. So, so oh, since you guys are all splitting whoa. up, uh, and Yvandir's going towards where he found the bodyguard, where in, like, the general layout of this place are you all going? I guess I'm gonna try to go to the rest of like the bedroom area. Like if there's a wing for bedrooms and stuff, I'll check that place. I am going to the armory and searching <laughs> for a little bit more than people. <laughs> yes. Uh, Magnar, will you take the, the outside grounds and maybe some of the entryways? Yeah, of course. Okay. <clears throat> um all right, so you guys all go off. Um, I just remember the bodyguard, like last, was yeah. it la last two sessions ago, the bodyguard said that the youngest son was in, was where he was. Yeah, uh, you are able to go in there and find the room and you uh, find the youngest son, like hidden inside of a fucking armoire. Uh, like scared shitless behind like mm. piles of nice clothes. My lord. Yeah. We're getting you out of here. Okay, okay. Uh, he like clutches your hands. Uh, it's it's safe. The the demons are gone. But I, I pull out the dagger and I hand it to him. Hold this. I need both hands. And I pull out my. I he make holds sure my bows. the dagger before him like a divine talisman that will protect him from all evil. <laughs> um. It's a lucky knife. Keep you safe. Okay, uh, Spencer, you find the armory uh, with a dead guard, like, right at the door. Um, and it, it's a fucking armory. Uh, it has enough weapons and armor and munitions to staff a full-time garrison of 200 troops. Are there any people around? Not that you've seen. Uh, I'm gonna pick out some nice things. Okay. Um, <clears throat> basically, what you're gonna find in there is. Where's what I'm looking for? Ah, there we go. Um, there's gonna be an ex a large amount of the of light and medium armor. 
um, halberds, bows, a small gathering of uh, of, of firearms, and just like for, you know, very standard issue: sword, <clears throat> shield, halberd, bow, um, uh, and a gathering of small other things. But yeah, so I'm real, gonna take the, real the question, nicest. Uh -huh. I'll say Go the real question is: is how much can you carry? <laughs> <laughs> Correct. So, and I think I am going to make uh, an appraise check to try and... F oh, no, I don't... It's have... evaluate. Evaluate check to see which... I'm trained in that also. Which things I think will be not just the most expensive, but the easiest for me to get rid of without raising too much suspicion. Okay. Oh, Nice! I'm gonna oh yeah. Oh. Um. Okay. Um. So you know that uh, the armor is uh, the the more metal armor, the medium armor will have like the the castle forged mark on them, but the leather armor not so much, and most of the weapons won't either, except for the firearms. So when it comes to what you can pawn. Uh, you know, the more basic the weapons are, the the easier it will be. Um, and pawning the light armor would be much easier than pawning the medium armor. Though the medium Perfect. armor is worth quite a bit more. And, uh, but the most valuable things are the by far the firearms. Yeah, so I'm going to grab... A handful of firearms, five or six maybe, and put them in the bot in the bottom of my sack, and pick out the <clears throat> best quality bow I can find. Okay, uh, then, and now here's a matter where I'm going to want you to really pay attention to the actually encumbrance, because <laughs> you're. Oh, that's true. Because you're, because you are. There might be a horse lying around. You're. Lo no one's gone to the stables. Um. All right, so while you take a look at your encumbrance um, and start figuring out what you get, we'll say you're going to load yourself up with the maximum, and we'll kind of come back to what that is later, so not to get caught up in the minutia of it. Perfect. Um, oh, everyone's videos went black for a second. Reconnecting! All right, there we go. All right, so... Um, let's see. Magnar's out on the outside. Round the outside. Round the outside. Round the outside. Um... You find uh, catatonic guards, <clears throat> dead guards, uh, w the staff also members that are catatonic. Um, mm -hmm. But while grinding outside, you do come across the stable. Mm -hmm. And while all, most of the horses have been slaughtered or, or otherwise uh, consumed, consumed um, there are a pair of three horses that are loose in the yard. A um, pair of three, Shock? Yes, a pair of three. Yeah, they're okay. all they, they're all inside of a giant pair. Fuck you. Um, okay. A trio, <laughs> a trio of loose horses. Uh, do I have any milkshake? Uh, not last I checked. Um, um I don't so know how that's gonna work anyway. I can't handle animals or shit. Well, uh, it would be easier because they are potentially trained, but you can try to see how many horses you could wrangle. Okay, so do they have like leads? Are they? Yeah, they ha they have like the the fucking bit and bridle on. They're just not okay. saddled up. So they're when you say they're loose, are they? So they're just like just around, right? They're yeah, just chilling. They, they looked a, they look a little frantic, but not like full on panic stampeding around. Okay, so I'm gonna try to approach them. And try my best to to be approachable. Approachable. All right. So uh, animal care. Uh, yeah, this will be mm. animal care. Uh, but it's gonna be an easy check because they are trained. Okay. So add ten percent. Uh, twenty is easy. Oh, routine is... Oh, my oh, bad. So yeah, plus twenty. Yeah, routine thank is done. God. My okay. bad. Yeah, I posted it earlier. For oh, you. Oh, yes! oh, 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 motherfucking yeah. horse dwarf. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. You're like, whoa, whoa, 
Whoa. Wait, your untrained animal care is almost as good as my trained animal care. Oh, because you have plus one, never mind. What the <laughs> but yeah, no, you were able to get the horses, all Holy three God. of them. <laughs> no, shush, horses, I ain't gonna hurt you. They seem relieved to have something that doesn't smell or look yeah. awful. Uh, uh, it's Magnar still. Uh, something, something with humanoid build. Yes, exactly. Uh, and so then they think you're a boy, a young boy. Um, <laughs> Falandar, you went to search where again? The bedroom, all the bedroom hall, like the wing where okay. they would. The quarters. Uh, you get there and you find uh, there was apparently a large pile up of a fight at Godfrey's room, and there are multiple dead demons, multiple dead guards, and a dead Godfrey. Uh, what you do find when you look into this, something that catches your eye is amongst all of these dead, this salt like the you recognize the master of arms. And he had died clutching uh, a uh, attached to his halberd is a really fine looking banner with a blazing griffin on it. Is it the symbol of the same? Like, do I recognize that banner? It's a, it, it's uh, a very fancy like symbol of the empire. Like the, okay. the griffin is one of the symbols of the empire. Okay, well I'll, I'll take that. And then, how much money did Godfrey owe us for killing his dad? Um, you know, now I'm trying to remember how much he said he was going to pay, uh, but I can't remember. Can we say whatever it was? I, I can don't think he ever for... gave a number. He just gave that, us a lot yeah, of money much... up front. That's oh. true. He never gave you an exact number. Um, <laughs> how much did he give us up front? Do you, you remember? Think I think I wrote it down, 60? actually. He gave 60? us 60 gold. I... It was like 60 uh, or 70 gold. Okay, uh, I think I have it written. Inventory, party coffers, 60 gold. Uh, I find 60 more. If I can. So you wanna, you're gonna search their pockets for gold or? Pockets, the bedrooms, like. So you don't um, find much in the way of loose gold, but you do find his um, dresser with his uh, exceptional quality clothes and uh, bits of jewelry. Uh, are any of the jewelry like marked with like family symbols or stuff? Only a few. Most of it. Okay, I'll, just... I'll grab. I'll grab all the jewelry. I'm gonna put the ones that are marked with the family symbol in a separate pocket, and the. I'm gonna grab the banner, and then I will leave. Okay. Uh, and Yvander, as you're walking um, out with the the. Young... I'm calling for the middle son. You're calling for the Godfrey. Well, God Godfrey was the eldest, right? Yes, and then there's right, a middle, right. and there's a middle son, and then there was the youngest who I just. Oh found. yeah, you're trying to find. Oh shit, my nose. <laughs> James Harden. No, it's not the oh, second. That's the dead guy. The it, second. It, actually, no, it, he's it, right. It, it's right. It was Johann von Hardenbeck. The the second was the middle. If we son. can like retcon what I'm doing after mm -hmm. I find like this the the kid because it, it mm -hmm. like I want to like take a slightly circuitous route, looking saying we need to find your brother, you got older, <laughs> and help me. Where where do you think he? Um. <clears throat> Oh, uh, uh Johan wasn't here. He he's uh he's 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 being tutored up in Altdorf. Didn't we meet him at the at the banquet though? Didn't he was there last last night, I remember or this night, I remember. Wasn't he? I uh, the kid looks confused, <laughs> um and in shock. Uh uh, it's okay, let's uh, get you out of I, here. Maybe he was supposed to go... Oh, um... Hey, hey, look at me, look at me. Mm -hmm. You have the lucky dagger, yes? You'll have it? Get, get, give me a charm roll. I'm not good at this. Plus 20. I'm still not good at this. Get him. I believe in you! I Use my horse wheel skills. If Hawk can charm a horse, <laughs> you can charm Use the a horse boy. dice, boy! <laughs> Use the horse dice? Plus 20, you said? Yeah. Oh, that's a zero. See what I roll? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. 
crash yeah. it. You uh, are trying to go, hey, stay with me. You <clears throat> grab him by the shoulders to shake him. Stay with me! And he's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get successfully out. intimidated a child. We're, we're going to get out of <laughs> the, here, okay? The, the smell of urine fills the air. <laughs> it's it's okay. We're going to get out of here. Is it too late? You gotta to leave piss him your behind? pants now to make him feel comfortable. <laughs> what all the cool <laughs> kids are doing. Really yeah. Madison. Yeah. Really Madison. Yeah. Like you gotta do it, man. I, I just head out with him. Um, if he if he if he doesn't his, really know where I his his room is just over that way. This with a, a shaking hand. I I put my uh, bow away. I pull out my sword and. We're going to get- we're going to check there, and then we'll leave, okay? Okay. Um... So, okay, uh... Magnar's wrangling horses, Angram and Dolween are... Removing bodies from a boat. Chatting. Oh... Hold- I'm sorry. A ghost of my past just popped up in Twitch chat and trolled me with a fucking... 13 or 12 year old inside joke and I, I, I lost my composure for a minute there. Um, <clears throat> moving on, <throat> fuck you Swiftar. Uh, <laughs> so, um, you guys uh, gather up there. So, Dolly and Ingram, I'm assuming that you're trying to get the boat out of the water. Um, I'm not sure what you're doing with the corpses. Well, I think the boat is actually good in the water for the most part, but the corpses can go into the river. Okay. <laughs> I think I left my trunk over there too, by the way. Also, because the captain is dead, we can grab his raft instead of our river riverboat from uh, Marienburg. I'm not leaving my boat behind. We can take both. Okay, I'm just making that clear. <laughs> find, find my trunk, and granite has our stuff in it. <laughs> oh, yes, the message being delivered by the metagaming pigeon. Or <laughs> just the bird <laughs> flying by. I just, you know, I just say to Dolween, help me with these bunnies. Yeah, yeah. Their, their earlier perception check did not notice your chest. No. no. Alright. I think my cat's with the chest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a. F yeah, no, then. Uh, they have not found Flynn either. Um, He's in his carrier, so. Anyways. Uh, Do you know, I don't give a shit about your chest. Uh. Yvandir, you run into Falangar as uh, the youngest lord has led uh, him over to the area where you see him kind of like come out and he's got a few things in his arms and is holding a furled up banner uh, that he's kind of tucking into his backpack. <clears throat> Have you found Johan the second yet? Mm -mm. Well, didn't we check? <clears throat> is he talking to me, yeah? Yeah. I, I thought we went to the room and then checked it. I, I found God. Jada went towards the bedrooms. I found oh, okay. Godfrey, but I haven't seen any sign of Johan the Second yet. The youngest one here, and I, I pat his head, said that he was studying in outdoor. But I distinctly remember him being at dinner. Do yeah. I remember him being at dinner with the shock? Do you remember him being at dinner? <laughs> the shock? I can't tell if the shock can't remember. And it's not <laughs> kind of... and he was at dinner. Okay. Uh, I agree with you. Um, we should do our best. I think we're running out of time here, but uh, I have some things for whoever becomes the new lord of Isleheart. Uh, all right. So yeah, uh, you know, you guys currently, those of you search have not found uh, Johan the Second in the keep. Um, <coughs> Uh, Spencer, I'm guessing you're just taking the stuff and getting outside, or are you going to try and meet back up with people, or wh what's your plan after you gain your loot? Uh, get to... I I'd assume that we had mentioned meeting back at the boat okay. as a group. So, I have a short list of what I can carry, and I am also going to have a bag that I kind of drag. Okay. Um... So it'll be over my encumbrance, but at my push drag lift limit okay um you're like push drag out there and you run into magnar with three horses uh magnar you see spencer is like loaded to bear and dragging a giant sack full of stuff you uh you got a couple things there with you hey, yeah buddy. we're working we're working on putting an army together right <laughs> 
Uh, okay, yeah. All right. Uh, one question. Uh, do you, do you know how to work these horses? Yeah. Uh, kind of. Cool, because I don't. And he just hands all three leads to Spencer. All three of them? Y yeah. Uh, what, what do horses do? <laughs> uh, four feet tall at best. Dwarves don't horse. <laughs> dwarves don't horse, gonna... don't ask them. Dwarves don't horse <laughs> I'm going to try and lead them back towards... Hey. It's not gonna be difficult to lead them. Like you only have to roll to lead them at this point. Um, okay. Ma Magnar's just an uncomfortable and unexperienced. Yeah. How do you horse? Yeah. How how does one horse? I'm gonna lead them back so that I can get more things. Okay. Uh, he starts leading them back into the the the, the keep. Um, as you guys are going back there, uh, everyone make perception checks. You can use your special eyes if you are outdoors. No one outside outdoors Everyone? has special eyes. Uh, that's hey, not I true. Have special eyes. And, and Graham and Dolwyn do, and I'm letting them roll too. Oh, okay. So we're rolling on this one too? Yeah. Just bare. Now, you guys are too focused on the boat. Uh, so, Spencer and Yvandir. Uh, Spencer, as you're leading it back there, you see smoke starting to billow out of the uh, <coughs> the tower, the, of the keep. Uh, Yvandir, as you're for you smell the smoke. Seems like the witch hunter. Oh, I didn't smell it. Yeah, you're not aware of it. Oh, yet. that's right. <laughs> The witch hunter. Oh shit! Pointed out to to everyone around me. We should hurry. Do you need? Do you, do you want up on one of these dwarf on these on these horses, dwarf? Uh, <laughs> yes. I, I help him up onto one of the horses. Uh, I think that's we've run out of time to search for Johan the second. If he got and out, and then I load the second horse with my sack of extra goodies, and then we huh. just bail. Okay. Let's, let's take the young lord out of here. <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, you're able to, as you as you and Yvandir are mm. getting out there, uh, you kind of catch eye of Magnar and Spencer uh, on horses with a third horse in tow, like leaving out the side. Where'd them. you get all that shit? <laughs> um, and as, as I'm taking, I'm going back to the inn, brother, to drop him off with his bodyguard. Let me as, see if I can grab. Oh. I was saying, as you guys are exiting, uh, the uh, you see the witch hunter and his uh, other two members of the retinue are spreading more fire. They are literally going to burn this whole place down. Could I see where they came from with the armory? No, you don't see where they came from. Like okay. you don't you don't see where Spencer came from. You just saw him on like them with the horses leaving. Okay. Uh, judging by how fast the fire is spreading, would I have time to run there and see if I could grab, like, one or two things? It would be risky. Give, eh. me, give me a, give, give me a, survi uh, let's say an outdoor survival roll. Let's see how well you know about the spreading of fire. Like fire. Actually, I'm not good at it. I'm Dark decent at it. I'm not fire. good at it. Oh, uh, you think you could make it? It might be close, but you think you could make it? Brother, you take him back. I'm gonna go check one thing. Okay. I, I to head to the inn. I run to where I think the armor. Okay. Uh, you begin dashing over towards there, uh, as Falandar leaves. Um, as you get towards the armory, you find that it has uh, a lot of stuff has been like knocked over. There are dead bodies everywhere. Smoke <clears throat> is starting to fill the area. Uh, I want to see if I can grab a long, and maybe a harness for the horse that's around, but no, okay. no, just long bone changer. Give me a search roll. Uh, we'll save this is with uh, plus ten. Great, doing it once over. Hey, hey, hey. All right, yeah, no, you're able to quickly find the the stuff that you're looking for there, and give me a perception roll 
as you do. With your special eyes. As you pick... Oh, good. That's three degrees of success. As you do, and you're kind of pulling stuff up there, you notice, like, um, a cellar door at the bottom of the armor, uh, the floor of the armory, uh, like, kind of tucked into a corner. Oh, boy. My brothers are gonna hate me. Uh, as you open. pull it open, uh, barrels. Gunpowder. Barrels of gunpowder. <laughs> and a, uh, 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 a scared early teenage uh, boy of Johann von Hardenberg II. My lord, we need to go. This place is going up in flames. Ah! Oh, okay! <laughs> Action movie exit where they jump <laughs> <laughs> Um... Uh, actually, no. Because with all the smoke that is filling <clears throat> the area... I'm going to need you to make me both toughness and agility rolls. Okay. This is going to be a skill challenge to get out with the young lord. Okay. Fine. <laughs> and the agility. This one I'm not bad at. I'm oh, gonna, you should have tested point. it. Fortune, Fortune point. fucking point. Fortune point it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's my last one. Day. Oh. You're like pulling the kid behind you, coughing <laughs> through smoke, um, as the flames are spreading faster and faster um, all around the place. Uh, you kind of start to lose your sense of direction in the smoke, because the armory is not like an easy access place. Uh, and as, as you're kind of pulling your way through there, you actually have to, uh, like, holding it in, you start to, your movement gets slowed down by the smoke uh, as you're trying to step around Dragon places hand. of fire. Um, oh, you uh, suffer four wounds that bypasses all toughness and damage reduction. Um, okay. As you're going through the heat and the smoke, um, making your way through, give me another toughness check and another agility check. The toughness is at negative 10. Oh, cool. Crush it. Crush it. Crushing it. <laughs> Come on, Lord. And, and the agility? <clears throat> be the fast elf I know you can be. Uh, do you want me to do my movement slowed on this? Do you want me to the have movement any? Movement is affecting your speed, not your agility. Two different things. Oh! oh. Crushed it. Um. Tap the your way out of there. Wow. Okay. Uh, as you're like kind of pushing through, you can <laughs> see the light, like with the open door out into the bright of, uh, of the of the morning sun, and. You, you're leading it there. I need you to make one more toughness check at minus 20, and then another agility check. This is awful. <laughs> oh, I'm the same thing for the toughness! What the fuck? We can make it! We made it through this night! We can make it! We can make it! <laughs> and, uh, in a, like, this place, you end up shut, like, dragging and tossing, uh, the young Hardenberg outside as you succumb to the smoke and the, the flames that pass out onto the ground. Uh, and then there is a small series of explosions. As the uh, everyone else around side, the gunpowder is reached in the back half, uh, facing outward from basically the hill that's on top of, of the keep, has a small explosion and goes out there and, and, and blows us aside out 
of the now burning keep. Um, and so everyone's kind of in shock and such yeah. for a moment. Uh, as you're hurrying to get the the youngest lord back to the ta to the end, Dolwyn and Angram are getting the boat ready and dumping the corpses. Uh, give me a perception roll with your special eyes and plus twenty percent. Ooh. So twenty. I plus might 10? not fuck this one up. Yeah. Plus yeah. thirty. Ah. <gasps> Uh, oh, yeah, dude, no, like... you guys see this happen, and you're like, oh shit, and you kind of get back to it, and it, a, a moment later, you kind of, like, glance out, something out of the peripheral, as you see the unconscious body of Yvandir <laughs> floating downstream. Uh, Vandir, you lose a fate point, <sighs> but you have to, as you get out of death, free card. As miraculously, the explosion didn't leave you pinned under rubble and in flames, but jettisoned you out <clears throat> into the river. I dive into the river. <laughs> Not before where's, I do, George. Where's, where's the fate point? Uh, it's FP. 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 Yeah, you just okay. have a number of fortune points you say equal to your fate point score. Um, would that be? Would you put the minus in advance then? Since uh, yeah, however change. the character sheet wants to do it. Um, yeah. Not. Okay. I got it. Yeah. Um, but you did heroically yeah, save <clears throat> the uh, eldest heir of the Hon von Hardenberg estate. As Falandar is there, as 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 he comes, the kid comes running out. The explosions behind him like an action movie, and I, 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 washes up on shore like fucking Aragorn in uh, the two the the two towers. Towers. <clears throat> I see the Lord before I get to the end. Mm -hmm. He's Good. There's been an awkward conversation otherwise. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I grab the kid and say, come on, we're taking you to your bodyguard at the end. Okay. Okay. And once I get them to the end, I'm going to tell uh, uh, Johan the second that he's the Lord of Vileheart now. Present him with the banner and all the family jewelry that oh. I took. From uh, family jewels. <laughs> yes. Here, oh, you're shit. a man now. Take your family jewels. Um. Okay. Yeah. You hand him the banner and everything, and he's just like in shock. He's this, you know, 13 year old kid. Uh, I'm also purposefully doing this in front of the bodyguard. Yeah, bodyguard's sitting there getting stitched up. Um, which, why not? Let's. Oh shit! Damn. Yes. All right. Which doctor? Pl Plague for doctor win? is a good man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like he is looking a lot better. Holy shit. Um, he's got one of those you know. like smelly poultices attached on his side, but uh, he's not as pale and looks fine. Um, as you're back there at the the end, uh, the uh, witch hunter. Is there looking him up and down? Goes. Hmm. We will have to further in investigate the town to make sure there is no remaining forces of blasphemy here. <clears throat> I think the new young, the new Lord of Alhard would be happy to assist you. In that banner, and I kind of like look at the the young kid. And I'm just like nodding my head, like, yeah, you should do that. You've proved quite useful. If you're willing to stay and help, I'm willing to pay more. No. Or if you are willing to go deliver a message to Outdoor for me to send for more aid, I am willing to pay for that as well. <clears throat> I would love to take your message to Outdoor. Message sounds good. He begins quickly. And I look like Magnar's with me, like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I've been here, here the whole me? time. <laughs> I saw you leaving on horses out the side. Silent horse. I just assume the shock I'm unconscious until you say otherwise. Yes. You're, you're unconscious until you are healed or rested. Uh, basically recovered a week. Um. 
but heroic, that's what fate points are for. <laughs> um, yeah. Very well. Make haste. This message must be delivered as soon as possible. As he's got a seal and hands you a letter. I would like nothing more than to leave this town at once to deliver your message. Deliver it to the Grand Temple of Sigmar. You have my word? Uh, you did say pay for it though, right? This is what I have now. My order will gladly assist you with more when you arrive. So he hands you a bag. Excellent. I take it. Uh, you can tell me what's in it later. I'm not going to count it out in front of him. I'm going to bow to him. And I look at the, the two young lords again and say, I am very sorry for what has happened to you in this day. But I hope you know that we did our best to save both your father and brother. And I wish you luck in rebuilding what you've lost here in Isleheart. I'm sure you'll do a great job as lord. And then I just back out. <laughs> <laughs> Later. And I just kind of like lock eyes with the bodyguard once more before I leave. He, he just... I kind of give him a little bit of a nod. He nods back. Sweet. I made a friend. Did it. Uh, yeah, I did. As you all are reconvening at the dock, uh, you kind of all get stock of each other. Uh, unconscious Evander pulled out of the water by... Burns. Just burn <laughs> on... What the hell happened to you, Vandir? I was hoping you could tell me. I went to take the youngest <laughs> lord back to the inn, and he said he had to go grab something. He must have gotten caught in that explosion. I know that's really not a surprise, but... <laughs> I mean, I guess he went in there to save the, the other lord. He must have had a hunch that I didn't, so... Oh, uh, you found him floating, clutching, like, onto... Uh, a saddle with a bow strapped to it, and he was fl sat floating on the saddle. Yeah, I I'm hoping that I, in, in character, I'm hoping the moment is Falandar points out that Evandir must have went in and saved the young lord, and then Angren's like, or he went in to get himself a fucking bow and did a <laughs> <laughs> Not to speak for Angren, but that's the character moment I desire. Uh, I'm so sorry. That's <laughs> There's just I think Angrain doesn't give a fuck. Oh, okay. There's just this just brief moment of kind of stunned silence as you're all there at the dock with three horses, a giant bag of swag, an unconscious Yvandir, and a leather uh, to be delivered to the I have, Temple Sigmar <clears throat> in Outdoor. I have a pouch of gold from the Witch Hunter and also the, the jewelry I did not give him, which is anything that wasn't branded. So... Well, I collected our payment for what we did for... <laughs> Me too. And I also... Oh. <laughs> uh, I figured I would sell this jewelry and anything over, I think, about 60 gold. Double what he paid us originally. That seems to be standard. We could send back to the young lord as a, a gift of some kind. Yeah, yeah, sure. Can we fucking leave now? Uh, yes, we actually need to head to Outdorf as soon as possible. We're on official business from the Witch Hunter now. <laughs> oh, that's a brilliant idea. Wonderful. Uh, I, I look, how much is in the bag that he paid us? I do like a quick count. Um, doing quick eyeball, give me, uh, unless you're stopping to count it out, give me an evaluate roll. Um, plus I'll 20. Evaluate. Plus 20. It's just you can't guess the meaning. Uh, you think that there's probably near a hundred gold in here. Well, it may not be the best idea, but he gave me about a hundred gold, and he said that there's more written in this letter, so... Let's get to Altdorf. We're heading there anyway, right? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Is the letter sealed? Yes. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> um, his other option was he wanted us to stick around and help him look for more signs of the infection. So I thought this was the better one. We should just leave to draw less suspicion to ourselves. I think I made good with our friend the bodyguard, and I don't think he's going to say anything to the witch hunter. So we should just take this opportunity and get the hell out of here. Well, if you're unsure, we could always just leave Dalween behind. No, I'm, he's sure. He's very sure. I'm not opposed to that plan, but I'd leave it to the rest of you. 
Probably. So, so yeah. The, then there's the question of Dolwyn's second head. <clears throat> Doesn't mean he gets two votes. Out of view right now. Uh, yeah. It's a bulge on the side of your body. It's. He's wearing like a muumu, I think. Is what yeah, he said. basically, I'm wearing a tablecloth. <laughs> a very muumu. uneven muumu, favoring one <laughs> side. I think I want to like use a bodor as like a as like a crutch, so I can lean hard to that side. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Play up the injury. Um, the invisibility was one thing, but this seems to be on a whole nother level. I feel like we, if nothing else, we have to renegotiate your <clears throat> deal to us. And I'm not sure you have much that more to offer. <laughs> that would be fair. For now, anyone... maybe we leave and talk about it while we're on the river. Would that be fine with you, and Gran? Best idea yet. Let's go. We wait. I want to find my chest. <laughs> it's right. And hopefully you're... my cat. It. They're both right where you left them. Yes. <laughs> Flynn is invincible. <laughs> Flynn invincible. <laughs> I grab it. I I open it up real quick. Toss the rest of the stuff in there that I just picked up, and then drag it onto the boat. Boat's a little more crowded with three horses. <laughs> uh, they can probably go alongside the boat, right? Why do we need horses? We have a boat. <clears throat> do you know how much I don't give a fuck? <laughs> that uh, does not. Spencer, can you ride these working. alongside the boat and keep pace? Three horses? I can't ride three horses. You, sure, you just ride one horse and you tie the rest. Uh, I'll do it. <laughs> nice. I will put my <laughs> my chest and all that, and I will try to ride the horses alongside. Okay. I will take the saddle that uh, Evander so greatly <laughs> delivered to me. Because well. <laughs> I am try, I am trained in both ride and animal care. Nice. Yeah, handling the horses is not going to even need a roll for you at this point. Okay. And them. as long as I can keep pace with the boat, pretty at least pretty close, I would be happy. Uh, so as you guys are pushing off and. Uh, riding off kind of keeping along the edge it's going to be it's going to slow your travel uh keeping pace like that but yeah. you're not really i guess in a hurry at this moment uh as you guys begin pushing off, <clears throat> pushing off and heading out uh down the down the the river reich towards the imperial capital of altdorf with you, Van there. Good. Um, yeah, unless you see get him uh, healing, it's going to take. Don't you have a healing potion of some kind? Do you have a healing mm -hmm. drought? Didn't somebody give somebody a healing drought? I'm it. pretty sure we just smeared it on his arm at the doctor the last time he got himself. Uh, I have a healing drought. Oh. I started with one. Yes, that is correct. Nice. So I'll healing. give him my healing drought. Let, uh... Draft. No, that's drought. I think he's right. I think it's draft. Oh, whatever. It's draft. You're a draft. Like draft beer. Like draft beer, yeah. U G H T. Draft. Yeah, it's how the it's how the British people spell draft, though. It's like draft beer. It's the same mm -hmm. word. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been calling it a healing so, drought for years. Uh, well, you've been incorrect for exactly that so long. So, how many wounds do I recover from that? Or am I just like, was I at full wounds <laughs> technically with shock? Uh, you're at yeah, you're at zero wounds. Let me refind the. I was at four from before from like getting. No, you're from at walking. zero. You're just like, oh. yeah, like that whole thing killed you, but your fate point saved you. Um, where is oh healing draft apparently? It's mm -hmm. healing draft actually heals four wounds for a lightly wounded character. Character a healing draft has no effect on a heavily injured character. So the healing draft will not actually help him because he is heavily okay. wounded. Will I be aware of that then, since I have one? Yes, it's not going to uh, bring him back from these level of injury. He's not life-threatening, okay. but uh, he's going to be in rough shape uh, without any medical aid uh, for like a week. He won't be necessarily unconscious the whole time, but he's going to be rough. There. We'll get him help when we get to outdoor. 
I suppose. Okay. Um, so you guys are going to be making your way to Altdorf um, at the pace that you are going from Aleheart up the river. All right, this is going to take some time. Uh, <clears throat> I would honestly say that just going straight up the up the river here is going to take you about a week. Um, that checks out. Yeah, I think about with horses. May, maybe even a few days over with the horses. Um, after like two days, knowing that we're having pretty slow progress, I guess I would offer if one of you wants to come with me, and the rest of you want to go ahead, so you can get your van to your help. I can meet you. In Altdorf. Yeah, I can stay with you and ride the horses. Um, I just thought Yvandir would get better by now, and I think that might be the best option. Also, sure. I just want to point out, I believe it was not long ago, where we decided that Yvandir was hurt enough that we should go to town <laughs> instead of going somewhere else. <laughs> I feel like this happens a lot. I mean, yeah, there... last time the town we went to basically blew up, so... There are other uh, towns between here and outdoor if you wanted to make a stop off. Uh, Bogenhofen would be a little out of the way, um, but then there's also Freiderheim, Freiderheim and Karaberg that you could theoretically stop at along the way. I would just like to meet you guys in Altdorf, and if you guys go ahead, maybe you can figure out what to do with Dolby in the meantime before I get there. So traveling this area is a. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be using a uh, a concept of. You, this is a still a treacherous journey. There are dangers. There's the wilderness. There's <clears throat> bandits. There's uh, general travel complications. So what I want for you guys to do is tell me what skills you are going to use as a group to get you to or to Altdorf and how you're each individually contributing. I want each person can only, like, an individual skill, not counting, like, perception, can only be used by one party member. And to contribute, this is a skill challenge as a group. You need to be trained. Uh, can I ask if we're splitting up first or not? Or That's, does it not matter? Um... <laughs> If you are splitting up to the point that you're letting them go ahead of you, then that's going to be two separate groups. Yeah. Do you want to do that? <gasps> oh, I can help. Oh, fuck. I mean, any skill you can, like, get No, creative. I have a skill that actually helps. Let's say, be creative. Like, um... Angry I use my Ragnar. fast travel skill. Doween. <laughs> are there any, are there any locks to do? <clears throat> any what? I have navigation. Oh. I'm actually you, well, useful. Real quick, do we want to split up or not? All right. My answer is always no. Yeah. Okay. We if we're don't not... need horses. Uh, I mean, I want to keep the horses, so we can keep going at the slower pace. That's fine. Then. Yeah, well, we should stick together. Okay. Yeah. So I make the offer. Um, my skill that I'm going to use the shock is I'm going to do the ride uh, skill and just to keep a better pace because the less time we spend out here, the better. Okay. So maybe even showing Spencer if it's faster to get somebody else riding with me so I'm not dragging two horses behind me, I'm only dragging one, sort of just making the pace as fast as possible, knowing that it's going to be slower than just riding the boat. Okay. Um, Yvandir, you're only going to be unconscious for another day. Uh, you're still going to be at zero wounds until you've rested for a week, but you will be Do you be mean 12 wounds, like full wounds? Or... Zero wounds as in you have no remaining wounds. Okay, yeah, so I have 12. I mean, like, I have 12 total. I've taken 12. Yeah, yeah, you are at zero yeah. remaining wounds. <clears throat> um, so this is the concept of what's called, like, a skill challenge where everyone can contribute to, and based upon how you do, will determine what happens to you along the way. Do you want me to roll the ride check? Yes. Um, who else, how does it, like, want to contribute? Or get creative with it. If, if you think it's, if you can come up with a good explanation, then I'll, I'll, I'll allow it to be used. I'll, I'll, I'll use my magical sense to to kind of scan the area on, on a regular basis to see if there's anyone kind of watching us or if there's any magic forces around. All right, so you can use your magical sense to kind of help uh, be aware of any f magical threats. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, go ahead and give me that check. All right. Damn it. Um, could I use uh, 
in between outdoor survival or move silently. I want to try to use move silently to like teach everyone else like how to like avoid uh, leaving tracks, um, avoid attracting attention as we're moving around the river. Just in case oh, okay, fly. so you want to use move silently to try and make your travel less noticeable. Yes. Okay. Go for it. Hey. I guess we need someone to row. I mean, uh, otherwise it's going to be assumed that you guys are going to be doing, like, your normal stuff. Basic uh, stuff. Yeah. Yes. This is, like, uh, more of, rather than, it's an attempt to both speed up and make overland travel a little more interesting than doing the literal day by day by day of it. Um, and if your guys' performance are bad enough, then there will be complications I'll give you to overcome. Uh, all right, so we have Founder Dolly and the Evander have contributed. Uh, Spencer, Angram, Magnar. I guess that I could search for <clears throat> things when we set up camp. Right. So <clears throat> food. You're, you're going to be trying to make sure that things are clear and to find additional supplies. Correct. Okay, give me a search roll. Okay. Uh, how well hidden is your second head right now, Dolween? <laughs> as good as it gets, I guess. It's really hard to hide a second head. <laughs> like, it's it a said. noticeable, like, you know, head shaped protrusion on his right side. We're gonna have right. to build a really big would like suit. to do his best either to position him in the boat differently or whatever. He can lie on his goddamn side. That head is out of sight. I'm getting crushed down here. Okay, so shut up. So you're trying to just basically uh, I'm guessing you're seeing the concealment skill? Sure, we can we can go with that. Okay, so you're using the concealment skill to make your guys, yourself, and especially Dolween. <clears throat> no, no, just head. just Dolween. I'm just trying to shove him. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> okay. Oh, all right. Okay. I, think, I think in the course of these uh, travels, too, I'm approaching everyone individually to ask if they've ever heard of anyone having um, these kind of afflictions removed. Kind of trying to draw on I mean, their I knowledge. have a sword. It is common knowledge <clears throat> that there is no known cure for mutations. Other than a Thanks. sword? Yeah, yeah the, it, to cure is to purge. Um, often, sometimes people will actually run away from the civilized areas and join, like, hordes of beastmen. Uh, Weird. Because, well, because they can't, they, they're they too afraid of dying. And It's like the, the equivalent of running away to the circus here? Yes, except for you're running away to join a ravenous band of uh, mutated humanoids. I will, I will it's have to It's becoming a raver. I will happily volunteer to cut off your head. I'm not picky as to which one. <laughs> and I will navigate. I mean, yes. Oh. I think I oh, prefer shit. the finest swordsman in the group. <laughs> oh, you're gonna ask? Is that the one that slipped? Oh, are you asking one of them to cut off your second head? <clears throat> I would prefer to find a surgeon if possible. A surgeon that you can trust. Yeah, finding a surgeon who's willing to do that is gonna be like exceptionally difficult. Not saying it's impossible. Just exceptionally Cause, difficult. Because it turns out the ones who are okay with this chaos stuff tend to be in chaos cults and create giant monsters out of lords to eat everything around them. It turns out. But uh, if you're asking if someone could've... to cut off the head, then we can resolve that. <laughs> I'm so torn. I, I, if I, part of me wants to do that. So part of me wants to, like... Like kidnap a surgeon. <laughs> I love Surgeons. it. I love it so much. Well connected. Oh. I think if you can, if you could acquire me a surgeon, I can be very persuasive. Acquire you? <laughs> I'm not going to do that. <laughs> you show me. your men. Look. You know what? That's you not the stupidest thing you've taken... ever heard. We're already taking a lot of risk just keeping you around. Now you're asking for this as well. <sighs> to not only commit a crime, but do it for basically free. I'd pay him under duress. Pay the surgeon or pay us? <laughs> yes. You're asking us to commit a crime basically for free. 
Uh, I have no issues with crime. <laughs> yeah, we know yeah. that. Me and crime, friends, if you're curious. I, I'm yeah, taking I a really weird moral stance where I robbed the, the dead guy because he technically said he would pay me money. And I figured I completed it, but I'm not okay with just hey, random you knew committing that, crimes. You knew that that was going to be burned up otherwise. You were yeah. just making sure it didn't go to waste. And I didn't steal everything. Could have stolen everything. If I can get back to the point where I can at least turn invisible, I have met much more useful to the group. <clears throat> I think you let Spencer try to cut it off. Are we back together now? That's, that's we, we, no, we never like split we're up. We never split up. Yeah, we're yeah we didn't. We're just moving like at our plan pace. B idea. I do have you helping me with the horses, but um, like I show you how to ride, give you the saddle if necessary, so you can go quicker. But basically, we're they're keeping pace with us, so we're going a little slower, but we're staying together. I just want to know if that's if you're planning on having that head removed while you guys are on the road, so we can resolve that before ending the session tonight. That's all. Probably not. I mean, but that's uh, Dolwyn. I, I think a, that's it's purely a, it's a, Dolwyn's decision. Yes. It is a solid plan B. Um, <laughs> maybe we could acquire. Um, sorry. Maybe we could acquire uh, the surgeon on one of the smaller towns on route. Most smaller towns won't have a surgeon. They would have like. Uh, a barber? A barber surgeon who's like, you know, used to like pulling out ingrown toenails and dealing with like, you know, boils and infections. But a trained medical it's a, it's surgeon. A, just a big boil. I don't know about so we that. can pop it ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Is Carlberg nice. pretty big? Uh, yes. Um, uh, give me a, <clears throat> uh, a knowledge of the empire role, common knowledge empire. They'll kill you if they see it. Right, like literally, just being straightforward, anyone who sees this is going to, that's not a chaos cultist or otherwise mad, um, is going to freak out Let's and try it. and kill you or otherwise. Like, like, we could deal with the invisibility, the second head's gotta go. Even for <laughs> our group. Um, Give me a sec. We can drop you in Carolberg if you think that's how you want to get it taken care of. No, I think we can drop you outside of Carolberg and you can walk in on your own. <laughs> <laughs> we can just drop you in the river. To be fair, Friederheim is where the insane asylum is anyway. <laughs> oh, that is so true, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I forgot about the insane asylum. Friederheim is also where Spencer's from. Oh. Well, there you go. Hopefully we don't have to pay any tolls on the way. No oh, shit. Spencer, how true is your aim? Uh, yeah, Carrollburg is, a, like, a population of 12,000 with a, uh, like, it used to be the capital of Middenland. <laughs> um, but is not anymore. It's a, it is a decent-sized town. Spencer, how how true is your aim? It is the truest. <laughs> would would you do this for me? And strike this this thing off me. Yeah. No, no, no. Just to see it happen. <laughs> not, not on my boat. <clears throat> I mean, you guys go. Oh, that's like, fine. Make camp. I assume we're making camp each night. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just, again, just clarifying. I get a sword Very and I just well. heat it up inside the fire. Oh Jesus! <laughs> okay. All right, I'm gonna cut this Do we off. have like, do we have like planks of wood or something? Like something on the boat, maybe just like a plank of wood. Like, Dolby, just you have a dagger on you. Wait, you want to make like a table? I, I want something to like put over top of me, so like if you miss, you like. I just have a big like, chest full of heavy stuff. I mean, like, okay. from, a, from, well, from a gameplay mechanics standpoint, like, you're going to be helpless because you're allowing him to do it, and he can aim uh, to increase his uh, attack roll, and he's just going to, yeah, he's just going to have to lop this head off, and hopefully with medical assistance and other things, you don't die. Okay. 
<laughs> and hopefully it doesn't grow back. That is the truth of the matter. Let's do this. Someone give me something to bite on. <laughs> I pull, I, do you have a dagger? <laughs> yeah. I, I pull. I pull your dagger. Oh dagger. yeah, you've been doing your minus one dagger because you left. Yeah, I am. Lord. <laughs> My lucky dagger. Oh dude, he's gonna treasure that for the rest of his life. The one that you screamed at the child about. Look, uh, I don't think you can get the bonus as soon from. As I get rid of that dagger, I get blown up. Okay. I'm I don't think you get bonus from cause... charge and aim. Yeah, it's one. Because then charge would take the action, which is if the character's falling action the standard attack, get a ten percent bonus. So. Well, I mean, if, what start. is aim? The aim bonus is only ten percent, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm and just gonna all out attack, attack him instead. Well, so, oh, <laughs> all right. Well, this is gonna be plus thirty percent plus the all out attack bonus. Um, is he gonna put us in charges? Wait, how, how are we plus doing? This? Like, am I standing plus against the, the tree? Or? Yeah, yes. you get thirty percent because he's helpless. No, I, I put the yes. chest on top of you. He's not. He's not. So I'm, I'm lying himself. down with a, a chest on top of me, guarding my okay. mid section. Yes. yes. You guys right. are making this as. And he's. Uh, all right. All right. I'm just heating up a sword bonuses, inside the fire. Here we go. It's a really hot sword. Good. Oh my God. <laughs> I hardly knew okay. you. Um, also, you're going to deal an additional d10 damage because he's helpless and letting you make this strike. So you're still rolling damage as normal here. Um, oh. Oh. So, all right. 14. Um, what is. Uh, it, no, it's an additional d10. That's only 11. Because oh, yeah, strength bonus twice. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Not the worst. It could have been. Uh, how many? What is your toughness, Dwayne? Uh, my toughness is twenty-five. Twenty-five. So two. Two. Okay, so that's nine wounds. Um. Oh God, that hurt! You do lose. Ni you do take a total of. Uh, you lose nine wounds. Uh. <laughs> Um, did I say that, or did the other head say that? I'm I'm just kind of narrating that. You didn't get it clean in one swipe. You're going to have to do a second one. Okay. Easy. I thought you said your aim was true. And I hit it. Again. <laughs> <laughs> I used a you... fake point. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. With my final words. <laughs> He used a fate point. He used fortune a... point. Fortune point. All right. Oh, yeah. oh. Hey guys, you know what the funny thing about that is? That's an point. actual headshot. A roll of a ten is an actual <laughs> yeah. headshot. Nice. So give me the, the damage with the extra. Right. It's, it's probably gonna, probably gonna be bad for you. It's another ten. Good God. There. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Twenty points. Yeah. Uh, no, no. Ulrich's Fury. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. He, has to, he has to confirm <laughs> the hit. He has to re-roll the hit. Yeah, oh, that's true. Yeah. Just in case you miss. Yeah. Try to miss. Oh, <laughs> Try to miss your 95. No. no okay. Oh. Okay. Um, so, wounds. for lack of better words, yeah, you cut the head clean off on the second swipe. Uh, like, but what you were accounting for is Oh god, what does that really do to his anatomy? And uh, there's massive blood loss. Uh, Yvandir, uh, are you on the heel check? <laughs> I was All right, the I will of ask you guys um, what happened next time. Okay. All right, see you, buddy. Later, buddy. See you. Yeah, I'm on the heel check. Thanks. All right. I'm going to fortune point that because of the day. <laughs> I'm fully healed, baby. Yes! Oh, you're able to... I've never been more tense for a roll. Staunch the bleeding. Uh, and it's going to leave uh, Dolene at one remaining wound. Uh, and doesn't, Also massively wounded. Doesn't have to lose a, a fate point over this. <laughs> you're just like me. Also, no, he was the you lost the fate point. He doesn't oh, have no. to because... Oh, no, I know. I just mean, like, I'm covered in burn. Oh. If you'd have failed yeah, I... the heal check, then he would have died and had to use a fate point to survive. I like that we did all of that still to walk into town with a guy who's touched by chaos and invisible. <laughs> <laughs> I can at least turn invisible before without, like, having this visible head flopping beside me. <laughs> oh, by the way, Falandar, did 
the Lord's second son, uh, get out safe. I haven't asked you in the few days. Y yes, uh, he did. I presented him with the banner and his brother's uh, family press and jewels and told him he's the Lord of Isleheart now. Well, if we ever go back there, we'll have room and board forever because I saved both their lives. You're still an idiot. Yes. <laughs> of course. Um, so, uh, hey, hey, brother, I was meaning to ask you. Mm -hmm. Did you, did you just think that that's where the the Lord might be, or or did you go back to grab a bow? Oh, I went back to grab a bow. <laughs> <laughs> but if the Lord, if I hadn't have found the Lord there, I would have been out much faster. Uh, so you're gonna fun. you're gonna go with ends justify the means here. He's still I mean, don't we all don't we all have that? Going on, and I just point at Dullween. <laughs> um, I'm not sure anything justifies Dullween yet. <laughs> <laughs> that's an I want you to know that you're the second. You're the that's the second dumbest thing any of us have done. The first is all of us agreeing to bring him along with us. <laughs> so okay, I'm pretty sure um, I never agreed to anything. As we are going to uh, wrap up this session over this week of travel, uh, looking at your roles, I'm not going to tell you what yet, but there is going to be a complication on your travel. Yeah. Uh, between here yes. and Altdorf, and we'll get into that next week. But not but, next week. No, not next. Yeah, right, right, right. Next week we're actually taking a normal break because uh, Tacy is going to run us in a superhero mask game, and we're all going to be teenage superheroes. Um, yeah. But yeah. Uh, in the meantime, before we get to that, for concluding all of the shenanigans at Aleheart, for saving. Two out of the three uh, heirs of the uh, von Hardenbeck family, uh, and getting out alive and even saving the bodyguard. It's ex and dis it's dispatching Heinz. Yes, and dispatching Heinz, ish. Um, uh, it's XP time. <gasps> it's my As favorite time. It's been like what three. One week since you looked at me. Yeah. Uh, so everybody, for all of this accumulated past several sessions, are going to gain 700 XP from oh, everything damn. you've done over the past what like, four the sessions. Shit. So damn. I'm a boatman now. What's that? Uh, 1550 total. Oh, well, yeah. you're right. For, no, so, you're right. Sorry. 1450, point, but you got one free advancement. So you'll have yeah. 15 advancements at the end. <clears throat> So that, this was me trying out the idea of letting this XP build up over multiple sections of an arc and dump it on you versus mm -hmm. piecemealing it. We'll, just, we'll talk and decide if you guys like that better or not. Um, but anyways, we're going to go ahead and wrap up the stream now. Uh, our group of uh, shenanigans will be back next week uh, with a, one, a superhero one-shot before resuming our uh, normal Warhammer RPG adventures. So uh, thanks for watching us everyone tonight. Have a good night. And uh, mm -hmm. try not to die out there, you know? Good Peace. Luck.